I've just installed it, so I just click to open it. All right, so once you open your Kden Life, this is what you will see. This is the platform. So generally, you will have the project bin at the lo top left over here, and then you have the clip monitor and you have the project monitor. Down here, you have the timeline, and over here, you have the effects compositions, what we refer to as the effect properties uh, tax bar. You see it over here. So over here, you have the description of the kind of media you brought in. Is it an, a video, which is something like this, or is it an audio, which is something like this? And you have other properties like the lock and unlock buttons okay and down here you have the effect uh, the playing control okay so you can play you can pause you can move from one clip to another so all you need to do is to start from the project bin where you can import your media be it a photo be it an audio or a video okay so you can come over here to this uh, small import uh, small arrow you can just click and you can add media from you can add a clip or you can add a folder if you want to work on different subfolders you can add color clip or you can add image sequence or you you can have title clips or, or they are about or you can just click on this second one to just quickly add a folder and you can start and then you can come over here and you can click on this small icon and you will have the option to incorporate different kind of properties on the media that you've uploaded if you want to show the dates you want to show description and you want to show ratings you can cl click to enable all this in the media you've just uploaded and over here you have the sort icon you can sort it according to coloration or they are about so to start with let's try to import a media from from a clip okay so let's try to add a clip from our computer so we just click to add it and then you can navigate within your system to find the location where you have saved that particular media that you want to bring in so for example i want to in bring in this video that incorporates that comes in with an audio as well so once you select it you click on ok it's going to be automatically be imported so once a video is imported you will have Two screens like i've explained before this is the clip monitor as you double click over here you will be able to see the video preview from the clip monitor and when you bring the video down to the timeline that's when you see the the video playing on the clip on, on the project monitor so right now once you hit on this play it's going to start playing from the clip monitor so you can play it to have a preview so this is from the clip monitor and then once you want to bring in a, a media into it one thing we should pay attention to is that there is the uh, importation properties so this is asking us to change or to switch the clip to 1920 by 1070 this is what it has so we can say switch to just take it at 30 frame rates per second you can try to drag the clip by just clicking and holding and once you bring it into the timeline you can see the preview you can see how it is being dropped you can move it around the clip you can start from the beginning or you can start from anywhere within the timeline okay so let's say we start from the beginning and just withdraw our hand and if you want to kick start the clip from the project menu or from the timeline you just need to hit the space bar or you can come uh, you just need to come to the project menu and you can just hit on the play and it's going to start playing and it's going to start playing from the timeline and if you want to play from the clip monitor you can start playing from here so this is the first thing on how to bring in so there are different kind of effects compositions clip properties which at any given point if you want to see the properties of a particular clip once you click on this clip properties you see it over here you have all the properties you are looking out for on this particular clip and down here you have other options like the properties and like the audio properties you have it over here like the the markers if in, ca in cases when you have markers in the video you will be able to have it here the metadata if you have any and the analysis if you have any you will see them all from here but right now we are just concentrating on the general properties of the clip and then down here we're back to the clip bin so the next thing you want to do is you can lock and unlock the timeline so that you may not be able to add anything so once you lock this and you lock the audio channel you may not be able to add anything so if for example we try to duplicate this by just right clicking on this clip and we can come over here and say duplicate this clip and we try to drag it and drop it in you can see it's not it cannot enter the, the timeline because we've locked it so if you want it to enter then you have to unlock this Okay, you can have to unlock this and then you at this point now you'll be able to enter and you can see it has been added to the to the same timeline let me take you through some of the key properties of the timeline so for example the first is you may want to edit this clip okay so do not use this timeline during the editing you can just kind of disable a given timeline using this uh this icon or you can use the selection tool or, or the shortcut key s once you use the selection tool you will be able to move the clip just like 
just like so you can select it you can drag it and move it left or right as you so wish the next is the clipping or the razor tool which you can reach by using the control x so once you hit on the razor tool you will be able to have this red line which it enables you to cut at any given point of your choice so if you want to cut here you just need to left click and you can see it has just uh, cut that place you can left click here and it cuts the clip also at that point left click and it cuts it at that very point so another thing you may want to do is maybe at a given point you may want to delete a given section of the clip so let's say we'll go back to the selection tool and maybe you want to delete this, this section of the clip by just selecting right clicking and we have a bunch of options for example there are two things we may do we may delete the the we may extract the effect okay or let's say we may select delete selected item once we click on delete selected item we can see it has just deleted the selected item from here and we can undo this and then we can do a ripple delete which we can do it will delete it and it will not leave any space so which means it will grab this end of the clip and connect it to the other end so this is ripple delete and to do that you can just do extract clip so once you do extract clip you can see it has removed it and then bring back the other clip section and clip it to the other end okay so this is ripple delete another way you can do this is you can do you can still select it right click and say delete selection and then you can come over here and right click on the empty space and remove space so once you remove space you can see it has done the same thing so it removed the space and it clips the other end to the other end okay so this is how to do ripple delete in Kedal life so the next property is the the space tool okay you can use that you can do that by using ctrl m and what this enables you to do is to move the whole clip without tempering or altering with the spacing in between so if you select this uh, space tool all you need to do is to come over here and you try to select you can see it has selected the entire clips and once you move it's going to move the entire clip uh, left or right without uh, mindless of the spacing in between or ordinarily without selecting the space tool if you are on the selection tool if you try to move it's not going to move just like so except if you want to move a clip at a time okay one clip at a time but if you have the space tool selected you can move the entire clip uh, at the, together okay so you can see you can move it long left or right at the same time next is we have the the sleeping tool okay sleep tool will enable you to move the clip forward or backward within a particular clip and then we have the the ripple tool okay so ripple tool can enable you to to trim the the video from left just like so you can drag and it will trim it from left or you can drag uh, and trim it from the right as well so it will still trim from the right once you select you can see it is trimming the video from the right the right and you can increase the length of the video as well you can increase by just coming to the extreme end and just clicking on drag and it will expand the video okay as far as it's not reached the end of it all and it's keep it's going to keep expanding so this is about these properties next is in cases when you want to add a clip whether it's an audio or a video you can just come down here and you can just come over here to one of these selections to one of these arrows you just right click and you can say insert a track you can insert a track or you can delete a track or you can normalize audio thumbnails or they about you can just insert a track and this properties taskbar will come up so you have the option to either insert a video track if you want to insert a video or you insert an audio track or AV track or audio record track okay if you want to record from Kedel Live so let's say you want to insert a video you have to specify the location also is it going to be under or is it going to be above so let's say we're inserting above we are inserting a video clip and let's say we're inserting it under okay so inserting it under and once you you can give it a name if you want otherwise it's going to take in the, the continuation of the track name so you can give it maybe trial and once you hit on OK, you can see it has brought in another clip. So this is how to basically add a an, reduced clip. So you can see it. This is a trial clip. If you want, you can rename other clips as well. So you can just select, double click, and you can put the clip, clip one or clip A. And then you can come down also here and just select, double click, and you can name it clip C or there about. You can name your click at uh, anyhow you want it. The next thing is you can zoom in and out of the timeline using the zoom tool over here. Okay, so you can zoom in to see the entire or to zoom out to you can zoom out to see the clip very clearly so in cases of editing when you are editing during the process you'll be able to see it clearly and if you want to see the entire clip 
you can just zoom out so you can see the entire clip just like so within the timeline okay so to zoom in and out is a very cool feature to enable you edit very properly now the next thing we want to do is to want to bring in some text or something like a title that we can put at the beginning of our video so to put in a, a text all you need to do is to come to the drop down over here you can just click in add title clip add title clip i need to bring the title bar over here okay so this is title bar you just click anywhere and you can just type your text welcome so you can select it you can double click over here and you have a bunch of properties over here for example you just have the zoom in and out and you have the x and y axis where you can rotate uh, through the different axis you can rotate through x y z axis uh, just like so and you have the option to align the text for example i can align it center and i can align it to bottom center as well so it's now fully centralized and you can have different kind of properties over here like the different fonts font styles you can check different font style if you have downloaded any font style you will surely find it over here okay so you can just select any font style of your choice and you can just select it and enable it to this Okay, so let's say welcome to my channel and down here you have the option to play around with the size and you can increase or decrease the sizing as, as appropriate you can make it bold or you can make it normal or you can make it light as you so wish so make sure you just select it select the entire thing and you can do all that you can bring in you can change the, the color you can have do you have the color properties you can just move around select anywhere within and if you are starting with this so you can increase or decrease the opacity from here from 100 to 0 or increase or decrease accordingly and you can see the preview from here and once you're done you say okay and you can see it has been added so this is solid if you want to make it gradient you can make it gradient as well so let's say i change this uh, font style okay i don't too much like it so let's say I use this nile so down here you have to you can incorporate shadow over here and you can put in some blur effect and give it some blur effect and put in some offset right to just offset it from the original position okay you can give it some offset and you can see the effect coming out okay, so you can put some background over here so you can align left right center if you want from here as well or you can do you can increase or decrease the letter spacing from here you can start putting effect the typewriter effect if you want and play around with more features over here and down here you have the x and y axis in cases when you want to align just like what you have done here you can increase or decrease the height and width and then you can bring in more text if you want you can add an image to this or you can bring in a shape to this or you can add a rectangle there about if you want to put a rectangle behind your text you can easily put it so that it pops up very clearly so once you are done with this you can come down here and show grid lines if in cases when you want to show grid lines or you don't want to show grid lines you can uncheck that over here and you can see it very clearly if you want to show grid lines you can increase to show if you want to increase the sizing you can easily do that and you can see it very clearly coming up so all this you can do from the text or title clip properties you can check show background if you want to show a background you can show a sample just from the existing place where the clip is so that you can have a clear understanding of where the text on how and how it's going to look like on your main video clip so you can un uncheck this or you can you can check it you can make it black if you want you can check it or you make it check out just like so i think i preferred it like this and you have the coloration to the uh, grid lines or the guides you can change the color from red to any color of your choice you can make it blue maybe and you can see the effect okay so once you're done with everything you can just uh, click on this and just say create uh, text and you can see it added over here so you can easily drag and drop it wherever you want within the timeline okay within the clip timeline so you can come over here and you see a preview of it you can see the preview right over here and if you want to edit anything for example you found out that the color is not compatible with what you have you can easily double click this and you can come over here select the select the entire text and then you can change the coloration from here maybe make it probably make it black and say okay and you can update the title and you can see it has just updated so you can see it over here i think this is kind of visible from at this point so this is how to add clips and to update at any given point the next thing i want to show us is how to add transitions within clips okay so for example this is a clip that we caught at this point and we want to show a transition from the between point one and point two so all you need to do is to select it right click 
and you can come all the way to inside the composition and we can say wipe effect composite and transfer so let's say we do wipe effect so we just click to insert it and you can see the wipe effect and once you select the wipe effect you can come to properties and you see the range of properties from uh, effects and compositions of that particular transition that you've just added so you have the option to use the selection tool once you're on the selection tool you can come over here to the edge of it and you can just click and drag it to reduce the sizing the time the timeline the time it's uh like the time of the transition you can reduce it and if you want to see it clearly you can increase or you can zoom out so that you can see it uh, possibly very clearly so this is you can just increase or decrease to make it uh, shorter and then you can come all the way if you want to duplicate the same effect because once you select this effect you can see once you select this effect you can come to the properties over here you can say none which is dissolve it will just dissolve or if you want to put in other properties you can see over here for example you can do bilinear or you can have other effects as well okay bust you can have this bust effect you can make it automatic or, or background and you can do invert or revert as the case may be and if you want to re repeat the same thing over here or you can move it to the other clip if you so wish or if you want to copy it you can just right click on it copy or you can edit the duration on your own and then maybe let's say we can zoom out and then we can paste it somewhere here we can paste this particular effect so you can just paste it and you can see it over here usually i just drag it and paste it here so i can have it clearly on both sides all right so let's try to preview the the transition effect and see how it's going to look like I think this kind of looks cool depending on what you want to do if you want to invert it you can invert just uh, select make sure you select the clip then you can come over here and say invert or you can revert so let's see the effect and how it's going to look like i think this kind of looks cool depending on what you want to use it for on how you want to transit from one clip to another this can be very very helpful to you so you have a range of properties to play around with on each of the transitioning effects you can have them over here and on any clip i forgot to mention that on any clip once you click uh, click on it you have effects over here you will have a bunch of options okay features over here you have the video properties over here and you can have audio properties over here and you have favorites over here okay show all the favorites that you've saved and you can see them over here so all the effects the video effects you can find them over here so for example you can come to color and image correction you can have different kind of lots you can apply lots or you can have different kind of properties that you can apply so let's try to put in some lots and see the effect on our video just select drag and drop it and you can see it has quickly changed the entire video okay to something else and you can easily have the properties of that particular lots that you've applied by just coming to effect and compositions over here so you can see the properties over here you can select to select anyone you can make it cinematic you can make it a trahedral or trahedral or nearest and you can play around with this very easily okay and once you're done or you want to play around with more effect you can reset the effect or you can save this as a preset if you so like it when we preview it by hitting the space bar you will see how it has changed everything and i think this looks kind of looks cool so there are other bunch of properties like the blur effects and the deprecated effects the motion effect you can check out the motion effect you can do fade in fade out nervous vintage you can do freeze in freeze out all from here okay so feel free to just experiment it and see and you have other option audio options okay so you have audio options you can change the audio uh, to any option of this uh, of your of your choice so you can you feel free to to try it and see how how it works so there are a bunch of things to try you have the clip, clip properties we've explained this you, you can have a, a look at the history of what you have been working on and you can see all the things that we have worked on 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 this particular video uh, editing so at any given point you can refer to a given point and you see the effect or you see the video how it was looking like before the lot for example before we apply the lot and after we apply the lot and you can see all from the history tab over here one last thing that you may want to do is to export your project so once you are starting with what you have you are done editing and you are very very comfortable with the editing that you've done you want to export your video all you need to do is to come to project over here or let's say you save it as a Kden live file you can come to file over here and just click on save and you can just define the directory where you want to save it for example i come to my youtube i come to my youtube file and let's say kdl live tutorial for beginners 
and i can put the name over here we can call it keden life one so you can just save and this is going to save it as a keden life uh, file so anytime you can click to continue your editing and if you want to export we usually do rendering okay so to render a given clip you can select the in and out just like from here you can select what goes in and what comes out this is the in and out point selection and if you want to render the entire clip you can just come all the way here to project and then you can come to render over here or you hit the command and the enter key to start rendering so usually when you click the render you have two options to select the output location which you can see the default location is the location where you have saved it or you can select to define another location by just clicking on this folder you can define another location within your system and then you can save it over there and then down here you have the option to select the properties usually the mp4 properties is the best property so which is what i used to usually use so you can select the whole project or you can do selected zone if you have already specified a selected zone or you can check out for more options and once you're done selecting this which is at the mp4 format and you've specified the location all you need to do is to say render to a file and it's going to start rendering over here and you can see the job queue over here and you can see the progress of it over here so right now it has 57 minutes 57 seconds so let's try to wait for it to kind of render it so we can have an idea or we can just play it and see what we have created with our Kedel Live software and you have the option to abort the job at any given point if you so wish right now it has just finished and we can just go ahead and remove the job if you want and then close it and then we can go to the location where we've saved it and check out our file okay and you can see it over here yeah so this is just basically how to use Kedel Live for the beginner's guide so ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to always hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more of our very very useful videos i'll see you in my next video bye